everybody, Jane Mitchell is here doing some source reviews. Yes. Now, I got a source here today that I wanted to do an apology for. So a while ago, I mm -hmm. did a psycho chili sauce. And the one I did was smoking heat. I said the name wrong. So I want to apologize to Simon Cobbs from Psycho Chili. And I called it Psycho Chili when it's really Psycho Chili. And I did a little rhyme, a, a rap. That kind of was not very good. Yeah. So um, the sauces are Psycho Chili. And I'm going to be doing three sauces from Psycho Chili today. I've got Swamp Fever. So check this one out Swamp Fever. Okay. And I've also got African Dream. African Dream. I love the logos and labels. And so this was really cool. Look. And I've got Lemon Drop Heat Wave. Lemon Drop Heat Wave. Now that just sounds divine. Now, I'm not sure which one to start off with. Now, with Psycho sauces, they're not so much heat, they're more flavour. And the one I did before, the smoking heat, I tell you what, no heat to it, but it was amazing. It was yum, 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 and we couldn't get enough of it. So Simon sent me three more. Thank you very much for those, Simon. And um, so I think I'm just going to go with Swamp Fever because they're all uh, more about flavour. Now, as I said before, Simon's got 240 ml bottles and quite they're quite kind of, um, I say, they're quite gloopy, but then they have so much ingredients in them. So first of all, let's have a look at the bottle, nice size bottle. I love the logo on there. And as I said before, Pirates of the Caribbean theme going through. Um, Simon Cobbs, Psycho Chili, and check out the ingredients in there. Look at that. Now, this one is Swamp Fever, and it's just yummy, isn't it? Isn't it just so yummy? You can see all sorts of things. And look in the neck of that bottle. You can see all kinds of ingredients, seeds, herbs. Do you know what? It's going to be fresh. I know it's going to be fresh. So, um, Swamp Fever Hot Sauce. This sauce was inspired by the striking flavours of the Deep South USA. Okay, it's, it's the Nicholas Cage country, isn't it? Deep South USA. Hot and fiery peppers and herbs with a heavy smoke depth and kick that keeps on kicking. Cook with it, dip with it alligator or jackfruit it'll all taste um better with a bit of swamp fever i'm liking this one already yeah because it's gonna be like a smoky deep south herby oh my god it's divine so aside from chili evolved from two hobbies i love growing chilies and cooking after a particularly good year i had so many chilies that i decided to make sauces for my friends these friends loved the flavors and the heat and encouraged me to follow my dream so psycho chili was born Hot chilli sauce ingredients. So the ingredients for this sauce are white wine vinegar, tomatoes, water, red chilli, shallots, brown sugar, honey, pepper, uh, red peppers, lime juice, sugar, black pepper, thyme, mint, rosemary, oregano, chilli powder, salt and cinnamon. Are you liking that, Frodo? Frodo? This Frodo is just going to be sitting here. He's kind of learning. He's my um, apprentice. Boo's over there, she's kind of not happy. Yeah, thrown off a got thrown off a throne. But you know, you have to have new people in, just like new sources. So, um, this one is just so jam-packed with ingredients. I mean, flavour. Um show you it again just one more time before I open it. And look at that. You know, it's just wow. So nice. Okay, you know what? Herbs. I can smell onions, herbs, this hint of vinegar in there, sugar. So it's sweet, herby, oniony. Not really that many, that much chilli in there, not really that much heat yet. Nothing, nothing too hot. Now, what was the chilli? Did you actually say what he had in there? Just very quickly, let me have a look. Um, chilli powder. So it's not a hot one, it's got chilli powder in it and you can actually see flecks of things but you know there are seeds in there so they might be tomato seeds so it's probably got roasted tomato because those are tomato seeds as opposed to chilli seeds. Mmm yummy. Right so I'm just gonna actually give it another shake because the way the consistency of this sauce is there's so many ingredients that it settles out quite quickly so just give it a quick one of those and a quick one of those like a quick one too and I'm just going to pour it out and I'm going to take a big spoon for I know it's not, oh wow, it's chunky, it's it's like a, almost like a salsa, oh it's dribbling, it's almost like a salsa, mm -hmm, that's all I can say, down the hatch.
Wow. Mm, let's move my plate over here. It has got a kick. Um, now, the herbs coming through, I think, did you say rosemary? Initially, you get the onions, that sort of flavour, and the almost sweet onion flavour. There's a heat to it, which goes to the back of the throat, but not overpowering. It's nice. And loads of herbs. Loads and loads of herbs. So, um, what was the herbs that we said? Oregano. Did you have rosemary? Yeah. Rosemary, oregano, mint. The herbs coming in. And the heat comes from not just the chilli powder, but the cinnamon. So it's that sort of sweet, yummy, I wouldn't say Christmas, yummy, saucy um, flavour in there. And it's quite a thick sauce. So I think, um, oh, I forgot to say any allergens in bold. We haven't got any allergens in this one. I forgot to say that earlier. I just quickly noticed that. And it may contain cereals, may contain nuts. So if you have a peanut allergy or nut allergy, stay away from this. It's just from the packaging. But flavour wise it's really rich it's thick there's lots of bits to chew on in there there's herbs and oniony bits and oh wow just nice really really nice but not overpoweringly hot so more flavoursome there is a heat on my tongue now but it's just like a warming really like that one nice thank you simon swamp fever so african dream lemon drop i'm going to save the lemon drop heat wave to there um i'm going to do the african dream now again if you look quite a nice thick sauce there yet yeah, loads of ingredients it's just wow on the neck it's just amazing so many things in there going on yeah wow so let's just quickly have a look at the logo again i love this um it's very pirates of the caribbean-esque type bottles fantastic that actually looks like simon simon spell there right and then the ingredients so i'm just going to quickly go through this one um so chili hot sauce from the Psycho Chili Chili Company African Dream. So ingredients are tomatoes, water, apple, vinegar, black treacle, onion, garlic, chili, tomato puree, lime juice, chili powder, ground coriander, salt, nutmeg, allspice, ground cloves, and ground cumin. So there's a lot of like asian -y flavors in there so you've got your cumin your cloves your cinnamon um your nutmeg chili powder all of those like kind of asian -y, um african flavors now it just looks quite similar to that one in color it's a little bit more this one is a lot more redder if you look at the first one it's a lot more redder this one and this one's a bit more brown similar similar sort of colors similar sort of consistency but it's really thick and Oh, nice and gloopy. Ah, let me just get into this one. Wow. Nice. Lots of, um, here we go. Okay. Completely different to that one. Onions. I can smell coriander. Mmm. Mmm. That is nice. Mmm. It's like a sweet, coriandery, oniony. I can't smell the heat. It's got chilli powder in this one. And cloves and let me see what else would make it hot well there is chili chili powder and cl um, cloves cloves can have a heat to it as well so again these are not hot chili hot sauces these are more flavoursome sauces so i'm going to try it here let's see if i can do this um because i was trying to do a different version of it to see which one worked better let me know which one you think better pouring it oh you know i was watching the camera and not the spoon Wow, check that out. Now that is almost like a salsa again, like a brown chunky salsa, but it's not. It's got loads of bits in it. Oh, I can smell it here now. Oh my God, I can smell the cumin, the coriander, all of those allspice. Um, oh my God. Hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what, it's really nice. Now, Waiting for the heat to kick in. Quite a lot of chunks in there, quite a lot of bits in there. Seeds to chew on, same as the first one. Seeds to chew on, ingredients to chew on, but very fresh. Now, I'm just thinking, it's got apples in it, so that might add to the freshness. So the apples, there's um, obviously coriander, there's a sweetness to it. You've got treacle in this one, whereas this one, you had brown sugar and honey. So this one's got treacle. I'm just thinking anything else that will make it extremely sweet or not. It's not mega sweet and you can't, you've got vinegar in there, but you don't get that vinegary overpowering smell. 
it's just like a nice tang so another nice sauce my god african dream cycle you're doing really well here so oh god what did you think of that one frodo frodo should i that one now lemon drop heat wave now this one i've actually heard people have had this one before and they've said it's amazing absolutely amazing that's why i saved it till the end so yeah okay i'll just say this one quickly lemon drop heat wave every girl wants a flavoursome sauce for her birthday don't we just blame some sauce for birthdays um don't they well my daughter india did this and it's what she got a condiment inspired by the combination of citrus and chili flavors of the indian subcontinent delta now his daughter's called india and he's created lemon drop heat wave for india and it's got the flavors of india as well amazing isn't it that is brilliant so let me just check chili sauce ingredients red wine vinegar green peppers courgette onion sugar garlic lemon juice red chilies mustard seeds paprika turmeric dates salt um ground cumin black pepper and cinnamon now so i can say now this one again have a look at this it's a beautiful logo a cycle chili there right palace of the caribbean totally and look at this sauce first check for this and others and that just make your mouth water oh, there's so much going on in there so many flavors and wow look at that it's a lovely thick consistency really nice yeah now let's just have a quick read the ingredients so now we're expecting what i'm expecting from this one is it's got flavors of india it's got lemon juice courgettes i'm just going to tuck into it <coughs> give it a quick shake Oh wow, look at that. It's a really nice thick sauce. Lovely. Now. Right, oniony, garlicky. Do we have those in there? Onions, garlic, in case I said that. Yeah, onions, garlic, peppers, lemony, so like a citrusy note coming through. Do you know what? Just gonna have to do this. I can't wait. So India, this is for you. Oh wow, check that out. Can you see that? How it comes out. Now that is so nice. It's like a yellowy salsa. The consistency, I'm saying salsa is quite like a salsa. But it's so yummy. Look at that. Now, not bright yellow, almost mustardy colour. Just trying to grab that. Um I'm just gonna have to get it down my neck. Let's just enjoy this one. Well, different to those, very fresh. Sweetness and citrus coming through quite a lot. I've got the onions coming in, really nice flavour. Now, let me just lemon drop heat wave. So we've got the. Let me just check. Um, so you've got the green peppers in there, and there isn't that much chilli in there. So it's it's kind of a sweetie. It's just got red chilli. So it might be red chilli powder in there, but uh, and green peppers. That's not a hot one. It's actually, um, I said the second one was fresh, fresh from the herbs. This one's fresh from the citrus, the lemons, the citrus, that flavour. Now they're all three absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're not, um, if you don't eat a lot of chilli, these ones may have a little bit of heat to them, but they're not overpowering. They're more flavoursome than anything else. Um, because of what this one's got lemon and those have got vinegar in them, all three have got low pH. You can marinate with all of these. You can dip, um, add them onto salsas, add them onto um, nachos, all of those sort of things. Cooking-wise, you can add them in cooking. I just think that they're nice, too nice to put actually in cooking, but they would add pepper peel curries or pepper peel casseroles or any of those sort of things. Um, and, some, and I think, I'm just thinking of these two, breakfast. Yeah, you can probably put them on your eggs if you have eggs in the morning, um, on your toast, whatever in the morning, because they're, they're fresh, herby, and they'll add kick to your breakfast. I really, really like this one. It's more lemony, fresh, yeah? So, what can I say? Simon, thank you very much for sending these to me. I and mean, it's Psycho Chili, guys. If you see Psycho Chili, these are the ones you want to get. A nice size bottle as well. So, what can I say? If you like any of these three or any others, because you've got the smoking heat, which was divine, so you know what to do. Order, 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 like, subscribe, and guys, put comments in there. If I can't answer them, Simon will. And you know what, as always, don't fear that reaper.